Hey, it's BT reviewing the Red Bull Ring GP. BT. Anyway, I was there at the race. Let me tell you something. KTM and Red Bull together, damn. I mean, damn. That's like Beyonce and Rihanna showing up at the same time on a Friday night at about 7.30. And you just took a shower, so you smelling good and you cleaned all the right places. And they ring the doorbell and they go, hey, T. And you're like, oh. That's what KTM and Red Bull did. That circuit is Beautiful. I was there. I was a Friday morning. Got there from Moto Three practice, and the way the clouds were over the track, it looked like they were racing in heaven. Although I doubt heaven would have a big ass Red Bull or a big ass bull with his horns like this, all hyped up on an energy drink. That'd be kind of scary. But anyway, if you guys get a chance, Austria. Austria is what Germany should look like. I, I, I think that's why I was describe Austria. Austria is beautiful. Germany's probably mad at Austria for just being more beautiful than them. That's what they're like. It's like, they're kind of like Jan Brady in a sense of everybody's talking about Marsha, like, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. But Jan is like, Shh, hey, look at these titties. I mean, that's kind of like what Austria is. Austria, and even though they speak Austrian, just between me and you, it's really German. Shh, don't tell them, but it's really German. Shh, don't get mad, but it's really German. Anyway, let's get to the racing. Uh, Moto3, we're going to skip right over Moto3. It's done and dusted. Johan Mir is the greatest Moto3 racer ever. He's got a 64-point advantage. At this time last year, Brad Bender had 61 points. It's over. He's in their heads. He's, it's in their heads. It's over. Check out my picture with Johan Mir on my uh, Instagram, which is funnyman6869. Funnyman6869. It's funnyman6869. Um, Johan Mir, that kid is ready for Moto2. Look for him being a top 5, top 10 Moto2 next year. He's going to a great team. He's a great rider going to a great team. He just looks like a champion. That kid is great. Unless he gets hooked on meth, hopefully, he or crack, or, or some hot ass. Anyway, I can't see Yoan Mir screwing up. This kid is a champion. Watch him race. He's just so above everybody else. Uh, the funniest thing in Moto3 is watching Fanati lose his head in <laughs> qualifying. He and Fabio... I don't know what they were talking about. Fanati is nuts. Go to MotoGP.com and check that out. Fanati is nuts. Edipazzi. Edipazzi. Anyway, Moto2. Moto2 is back. Morbidelli, Luthi, Alex Marquez, and Pizzini are making Moto2 relevant again. Those guys do a great job. Franco, hey, you like my afro? Morbidelli, damn. That dude is butter. He is how smooth he is. Morbidelli is butter, baby. And what he did... Uh, Marquez got close, didn't get close enough. Luthi kind of wanted to get close, he couldn't get close. Morbidelli raced a beautiful race. Uh, Moto 2's back, great racing, great race. It kept it interesting for the entire race. And I'm glad to see that um, uh, uh, Miguel Oliveira is okay. That was a nasty one. Watch Oliveira. Oliveira needs one more year of Moto 2. And man, I'm telling you something, Oliveira is going to be there. He'll be fighting for the championship. Guy does a great job. Um... Yeah, look for him to be fighting for the championship. I'm glad he's okay. Took a nasty one. Anyway, MotoGP. Let's get to it. Oh. Oh. Damn. That's how good it was. Damn. 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 That race was the shit. Let me tell you something, folks. You watched the race. The last turn, I was there. I was there. That's why you love Marquez. Even people that hate Marquez, that's why you love Marquez. Because Marquez puts it out there. Marquez does what it takes to win. Whether you love him or hate him, who would try that move? Even That's why Dovey said this. That's why Dovey did this at the end. Because, like he said, you're not supposed to be passing there. Nobody would pass there. But Marquez tried to. And that's why you love him. With tires going down. The grip is gone. He still tried. Like he said, he couldn't have lived with himself that night. He couldn't have slept that night if he didn't try. And Rossi always said, I have to try. And, man, Marquez... Damn, that's why you love him. That's why you love him. That's why you hate him, love him. But that I just remember being an assin, and he tried that move on Rossi. Remember Rossi went across, and I remember Alex. I remember Alex Hoffman going, "Damn!" I mean, he was like, and he's a racer, and that's the respect he gave him. So you got to give it to Marquez for going for it. But the thing about this was scary about Marquez is, is him saying the exact words. He goes, he goes, you know, he's he's comfortable with being uncomfortable with his bike. Think about what I just said. He's comfortable being uncomfortable with his bike. What? That means even though he knows his bike is not already there, he knows it's not. And he knows uh, the limit to where to take it. Like, okay, it's screwing up. I got to back off. 
the guy is incredible. What he did, damn. What Dovey did, though, Dovey beat the babyface assassin at his own game. He said he heard him come off the, he heard him come off the throttle. Damn. I mean, just that Weber thought, like, uh-oh, Mark, cut the throttle. I know what he's about to do. He's about to do some crazy shit. And uh, he did some crazy shit. But Dovey's like, oh, really? I can do crazy shit, too. And he went back inside him. Great race. If you were there, 90,000 people, the Red Bull ring, oh my God, that's how racing should be. I still have to put Mugello number one, but Red Bull ring, beautiful number two. Like I said, Red Bull and KTM together, that's two companies with some money, and uh, they did it right. Thank you for the hospitality, Austrians who race in Germany, but shh. Um, let's go rider of the race. Rider of the race for uh, Moto3 has to go to Jorge Martin. Jorge Martin had a broken leg. He didn't even go out one session because it was wet. And we had a broken leg. He didn't want to re-break it. Well, yeah, I guess you can re-break it. But it's kind of like, can you break something that's already broke? I guess, can you? It's just broke. It's just broke, broke, right? It's kind of like refried beans. How can you refry something that's already fried? You can't refry something, right? Anyway. He, but he still had a wherewithal to be on the podium and still hop after the umbrella girl and spray her with champagne. That's a dude, either he's really horny or he's just in a zone. Because he's like, I got a broken leg, but you know what? I'm going to spray you, girl. And that's what he hopped after and everything. I thought it was great. No crutches, anything. That's, that's how bad. That's how hot she was. He hopped after her on a broken leg. Good for him. No pogo stick, no nothing. He just hopped after her and sprayed her with champagne. Damn. Uh, Rider of the race. Moto 2. Franco, you like this afro? Morbidelli. Morbidelli did the damn thing. Morbidelli did the damn thing. And Moto GP, ride of the race goes to Dovey. It's Dovey, baby. Because he held off the baby face assassin. What he did, oh my God. Incredible. Um, when they go to Silverstone, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because last year, remember Maverick Vinales won his first race last year at Silverstone. And that was when Crutchlow and Rossi gave Marquez the one-two. They beat up Marquez last year at Silverstone. If you guys remember that, go back and watch the race. Cal and Rossi kind of gave me a bump, bam. So we'll see what happens. But Marquez, listen to Marquez talk. He's feeling good. Like I said, he's feeling comfortable with being uncomfortable, which means... Yeah, it's scary. He's getting smarter. I mean, he's still, the, the old Marquez showed up and all the race fans are happy for it, but he's getting smarter. And that's scary. When somebody who is gifted athletically starts to get smarter, it's like, think of, think of 1992 Michael Jordan if his mental capacity was 1999 Michael Jordan. Think about that. Athleticism plus smarts, damn, okay. Anyway, um... That's pretty much it, man. If you guys get a chance, go to the Red Bull Ring. It's beautiful. This is going to be a short review because, uh, to be honest, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, I flew in from Vienna to Turkey, Turkey to Chicago, Chicago to here, and I'm tired. But I had to get this review in. It's just for me. I had to get it out of my system. Nobody else to talk to about GP. It's just me and the people I uh, talk to on the Internet. So thank you guys so much for watching these reviews. I really appreciate that. Um, I really do. You guys, you you guys make my day hard life, whatever. More more than I let on. So thank you so much for watching. Funny man six eight six nine. Funny man six eight six nine. Thank you for watching. And until the Silverstone ring, you know the word. Bang.